I have collected a bunch of different do's and don'ts for figuring out what exactly your bottleneck is for Tarkov and explaining a lot of the rumors, I guess, would be around it and just trying to clear the air as best I can. So I've, I've, I've collected some applications you can use and I just figured I do, would just explain some of these things in a video. It's sort of a miscellaneous, just me sort of ranting and talking about it sort of thing. So if you would like to uh, get up and walk around and listen to me talk, that's completely fine. I'll just be uh, talking for a minute about all those topics. So let's just get into it. So the first thing is I've seen a lot of comments both in my, you know, in my Discord, in the actual comment section, and I even got a message on Twitch about it, is that people are just having less than 100% GPU usage in Tarkov. And a lot of people, understandably not being tech savvy, you know, uh, are confused as to why that's the case. You know, how do I get that GPU usage up? And the TLDR with that is, and let me pull up Task Manager here as a general overlay, is that you have a single thread within all of your threads on your CPU that is being bottlenecked with an escape from Tarkov at any given time. And that is what's causing the bottleneck. Either one or two threads are maxing out on usage. And that's likely the issue that you are having. Now, for a lot of people, this can be confusing and it can sort of be like a why is this happening sort of thing. It's like this is bad optimization. This is the game's fault, which to be fair, may be that as well. But there are a lot more aspects to this that I wanted to show with some new applications that have come out in the past couple of weeks to help you digest all of that information. This, what I just pulled up right here, is Intel Presentmon Beta. I believe this is their 0.5 version, and Presentmon has been out for a while. This is what a lot of major benchmarking YouTubers use to collect data. However, Intel's Presentmon branch, which is just an offshoot of the base Presentmon application, is made to be more user friendly and made to help try and explain some of the issues you are having with your game, even if they aren't fixable. Now for Tarkov, the easiest way for me to explain this to you and Intel Presentmon does a really good way, uh, they have a really good way of showing this, is selecting GPU focus here and then turning on the overlay. So if I control shift K, it'll pull up this overlay right here and the biggest stats that I want to look for when we're talking about a CPU bottleneck, you know, single threaded issues is the frame time versus GPU busy. Now, it's very likely that when you're actually in a game, your graph is not going to look like this. It'll probably be a lot closer in terms of frame time versus the GPU busy time. But the TLDR on what GPU busy is, is it's essentially how long the GPU takes isolated in rendering the frame. It's not how much time total is taken processing from CPU to GPU to display, but it is just the GPU portion of that. And what that allows you to do as a consumer, as a player of the game, is it allows you to see, okay, my GPU can't be the bottleneck here because it's not matching my frame times. If your frame times are getting close to your GPU busy and they're they're hovering at roughly the same percentage, and I'll have a screenshot of that on screen so you can see, but if they're getting close like that, then you can start to realize that it's a GPU bottleneck or you're at least balanced in terms of CPU and GPU load because the GPU is in sync with the total frame time. It's able to pump out a frame at the exact same time that every, you know, that the machine's rolling. Now, if your frame time was more like this, where you have a lot of extra time in between your GPU busy time, that is time that the CPU generally is working on processing the frame, converting it to API calls and doing that whole game render pipeline before it gets to the GPU. And if you see this in game, that is a telltale sign right off the bat that you have some sort of bottleneck with your CPU. Now, Intel is going to be working on in the future, adding more features to allow you to address things like memory pressure, cease bottleneck, bottlenecks for your you know VRAM and RAM usage and all of that. It's gonna be extremely great what they do with this application. I'm really looking forward to finding all that stuff and tinkering with it. And that's a really good thing about applications like this is that they will allow us playing a beta game like Escape from Tarkov to figure out what, or not figure out exactly what the issue is, but get closer to figuring out, okay, am I at a CPU bottleneck? Am I at a GPU bottleneck? You know, what is the reason why my frames are like it is? Granted, it won't allow us to say for certain like, oh, scabs are the reason my FPS is like this, right? But it'll allow you to break it down and see what exactly is causing the issue. The main reason I don't use this when I'm actually playing games or when I'm live on YouTube, which I might be after I upload this video or tomorrow at seven o'clock ish, is because it takes up a lot of your screen. Now you can edit this. Intel Presentmon has a wonderful 
page where you can go like, for example, custom here and just completely configure all of the different graphs that you can see. You can see right here, they have a bunch of different things that you can track with your GPU, with your CPU, with your VRAM, all of that sort of stuff. It allows you to completely customize it. Obviously, I want this to be as quick as possible for you guys to figure out. So that's why I recommend just sticking to this setting right here, GPU focus. But it takes up a lot of your screen. You know, if you're trying to just play the game, it's hard to have all of this information right here on your screen. So that is why instead of using Intel ResentMon when I'm simply playing the game, I instead have the MSI Afterburner overlay on instead. Now I get a bunch of comments asking about what this application is. And the TLDR is, it's just like any other resource monitoring software, except it puts it nice and compact on the top left or wherever you want it on your screen. I will have links, by the way, to both Intel ResentMon and MSI Afterburner in the description if you want to download them and check them out. I highly recommend it. But for MSI Afterburner, you can see that it is a super simple, easy to use overlay. It may not look exactly like it does here, but that's just because they have a bunch of different skins for the overlay. What you want to do is you want to go to find the, the setting uh, cog right here and it'll pull up this whole page of settings now you to get to what I have up here for all of my settings you're going to want to go to monitoring and you're going to want to check all the different things you want the application to actually monitor it can look at everything from GPU usage and CPU usage all the way to individual thread temperatures and utilization along with clock speeds for them as well it has a bunch of different information, RAM usage, frame rate and frame times. It can even capture the 0.1 and 1% lows right here as well if you'd like those on your screen. So let's say, right, I want to add the main thread, thread zeros usage percentage to my overlay. It's super simple. You just check the box, you hit show an on-screen display, and then you can choose either text, graph, or text and graph. I'm gonna do text and graph just so that it's super easy to see it coming up on the overlay. But once that's set up, you can even change the color that it comes out to on the overlay as well. But let's uh, just simply hit apply right here for the sake of convenience. And you'll see now that graph comes up with the text as well up here in the overlay for CPU one's usage. And that's just my first thread on my CPU. If you look at my task manager, it's this one right here. Now this is equally as helpful in finding bottlenecks with CPU or GPU usage. Obviously it's not as quick and easy to decipher as presentmon is, but I use this just as a quick uh, look over and see what's happening with my hardware uh, in terms of temperature, even in terms of VRAM usage and all that sort of thing, you guys have seen me use this a bunch of times, so you probably know what I'm talking about there. The last thing I wanted to discuss, and this may tie into something I was talking about before, but I wanted to reiterate the easiest way for you to see if you have a GPU or a CPU bottleneck right off the bat is if your GPU right is at around 95 to 100% usage, you are likely within a GPU bottleneck scenario, specifically GPU usage bottleneck, which means that if you lower most quality settings in the game, you'll probably find some sort of improvement. If you see your GPU usage is below 100%, for example, how it is right here, right? If you see that, then you might be in a CPU bottleneck scenario, in which case lowering most of the settings in the game probably won't help. You'll probably have to find external factors, which I've talked about in plenty of videos in the past. If you're using Intel's ResentMon, like I was talking about when I was using it, the easiest way to see if your CPU or GPU bottleneck is the frame time and GPU busy. If GPU busy is less than the frame time, that means that you are in a CPU bottleneck scenario, most likely. If it is neck and neck with it, it means you're either balanced or you're in a GPU bottleneck scenario. Of course, there are a bunch of other factors that can come into play, but for 90% of you, this is how you can easily identify CPU or GPU bottlenecks, identify your upgrade path for Tarkov, and figure out where you wanna go with either upgrading your computer or in you know the terms of this channel, optimizing your game some more. Now, like I said, both these programs will be linked in the description, and if you have any questions about either of them, I'll be more than happy to answer them either on stream or in our Discord, which is linked below, or even in the comments section if I can get to them because there are a lot of comments now and I, it's hard to respond to all of them. So easiest way to reach somebody who can help is probably in the Discord. But with that, I want to thank you guys for listening to this rant. Uh, this was completely unscripted, but I figured I would just go, go through this 
since I get a lot of questions about GPU and CPU usage. And I just kind of wanted to clear the air a little bit. If you guys want to learn more about Intel Presentmon and GPU Busy and all of the stats that they're trying to figure out, there's a wonderful, wonderful video by Gamers Nexus interviewing Tom Peterson from Intel. He's been in the business for a while and he gives a lot of in-depth explanation to the render pipeline and the GPU busy statistic and why it's important for gamers to understand and break this down so that, you know, more can be found about what exactly is bottlenecking your system. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped clear things up at least a little bit if you've been confused on that sort of thing. I know this isn't much of a shocking video for those of you who have been doing this for a while, but you know, I wanted to get this out and clear down. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Discord's linked below. Members get a cool top hat. And with that, this is Clem. Locking out. Later. So if you're one of those, I gotta, you know what? No, I'm not gonna start another video with so. We're not gonna do it. It's gonna become a trend. I'm not gonna do it. It's not happening.